We begin with Linhaven, where for the second time this week, Linhaven City Commissioners meet to try and pick a new mayor after former Mayor Margo Anderson was arrested on federal corruption charges. News 13's Faith Graham, alive in Linhaven, was at the meeting this morning. Faith, did they choose a mayor to fill the open position? Good morning, Chris. I'm live in Lynn Haven, where the city just wrapped up a special meeting to decide who would be their next mayor. Now, this was their last chance to make this decision locally and either choose a commissioner to step into that role or a resident. But ultimately, they did not decide to appoint a new mayor. Instead, they voted to keep Mayor Pro Tem Dan Russell serving in that mayor position. He'll be carrying out mayor mayoral duties until either the governor decides to appoint a replacement or until the next election. Now, from speaking with the city and residents, they think that this is the most most pleasing and flexible option and I had a chance to speak with Mayor Pro Tem Dan Russell after the meeting and here is what he had to say about this decision. I think it's the best decision for the city of Lynn Haven and I'll explain to you why. It, it provides the city the flexibility at, at the commission at any point can change who the Mayor Pro Tem is by a simple motion second and a vote. So at some point down the road if the commission decides that Brandon needs to be in that position then, then they can motion and put him as the Mayor Pro Tem. So it, it allows the city to have a lot more flexibility on, on who's going to run the city until the uh, April election. Now, it's important to note that Mayor Pro Tem Dan Russell has no plan on running for mayor this next election. In fact, he told me that if he was appointed to mayor today, he would have declined. Also new at this hour, we're learning that a court date has been set for both former Mayor Margo Anderson and former City Attorney Adam Albritton. They will be in court in Tallahassee on October 26th. But stick around because later in the hour, we're going to be hearing from residents as they react to the decision made today at this special meeting. For now, live in Lynn Haven, Faith Graham, News 13. Panhandle strong.